we have some news, everybody. You're at our first headlining show in LA ever.
because like obviously it's a girl kit, right? And like I've been like dissecting the pits in our set and the girl pit is so polite. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. So, has anyone heard our new album? Thank you, because it was very scary releasing. But um, so yeah, uh, with this album, I was like, okay, um, Edith, let's be honest with yourself. You know what I'm saying? So. I wanted people to know me on a more vulnerable level, and Tay and Ada were kind enough to let me do that. We wrote it together, and it was incredible. And um, yeah, so this song's called TMI. Yeah! I seem to like that one. Yes. <laughs> We're focusing on honesty. I totally almost threw up during that song. I ate tacos right before this and they really wanted to come back up. Tacos? Yeah, what kind of tacos did you get? Burrito tacos. Wait, what? You know the juice? When you like dip it in the juice? That's that girl shit. It's good. It's so good. I'm sorry, I speak vegan. We got you on my head at all. All right, so with this record, I had to like sit with myself and I had to ask myself like who I love as a vocalist. And then I realized that my favorite vocalist in the whole entire fucking world, by the way, <laughs> happened to write my all-time favorite song in the world. 
so it's really cool. Okay. Yeah. What is it? Who? Who are you talking about? about? I'm sorry. Who are you talking about? Elias Morsa. <laughs> The best for you, bro. Not all the song, right? by Avril Lavigne. What's that one that starts with a C?
after seeing that movie when I was like literally like an infant, honestly, I think it's like 2002. I was like two, but like I watched it later on, y'all. And I was like, that's the first time I like saw girls and guitars like in a movie. And I was like, girls and guitars. Girls and guitars. Yeah. Better. Are we good? I asked that question quite a bit because I remember the first time I was in a pit was at a Circus of Vibe concert because I love, I love, I love them and I literally fucking thought I was gonna goddamn die and I wish someone asked me if I was okay so I'm gonna be asking you guys that hopefully no one's secretly dying Okay, we're gonna play a new song. And I feel like Meet Me at the Altar is very big about, I know it's cheesy, okay? Chasing your dreams. Chasing your dreams, I know. But we wrote a song about it and we want you guys to know, as our fans, if you have a dream, please chase it because you're gonna die one day. That's gonna suck. So.
I always tell the story of like, so as you know, this is our first headlining tour. And so we've been opening for like a long fucking time, you know? And one time I did that, okay? But I just did. And then no one said shit. When I fucking tell you quieter than like fucking crickets, bitch, it was. Tough crowd, for real. It's a rough one. So I love doing that. Let me get a hell yeah! Hell yeah! See? Nice. Now you don't have to cry yourself to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, I have to take a sip before we start. Say hi to everybody. Yeah, don't forget to stay home. Oh I really wish we could. It says play mapped out. Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. We don't even have a computer. I know, don't look at me, I'm sorry. Damn. Sorry to let you know. That's Anyone just, out of the loop? That just um, means you gotta catch us next time. Their phone says yeah. play mapped out. And, That's yeah. a good fucking song. It is a good song. You've been singing so good tonight.
one thing I love about like being in a band and just like playing shows is that like I feel like when shit does go wrong, y'all don't notice that much. And like for example, I drank water before that, <laughs> and the whole time I was like, oh my fucking god, I have to burp. And I <laughs> I could not burp, so that was gonna die. But we were goddamn mess. You have to burp. I have to throw up. I know what's going on. All right, that's weird. What's in the air here? I'm chilling. What's what's going on? Fuck <laughs> you. What's gonna happen? Are you gonna bleed all over your skin again? <laughs> right, I'm gonna start bleeding again. Also, guys, why is it cold here? Because I was like, oh my god, slay, we're going to LA, and now it's cold. Like, is this sunny LA or not? Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so now, since y'all went so hard in the last song, we gotta have a little water break, okay? So we're gonna play an acoustic song for you. That's okay. I will say it's very weird um, playing an acoustic, but every night it gets less awkward, so period. That's fine. You guys hydrated? You ready to go?
even though I have the set list right in my fucking face, and I know what we're playing, so I was just uh, double checking, okay? Oh my god, girl, I'm so sorry. Is everyone good? I think, uh, I think that was a nice little break. Is everyone rejuvenated, you know? The reason, really, why we play that song acoustic, the T, okay? Is, I don't know, I, I really don't like playing a full band. Cause it's like, it's a, it's a bop, okay? I know it's a bop, okay, we know that. But something about like playing it live, like full band, just makes you wanna just, ugh, you know? So, we got a little acoustic mama for you. I hope you enjoy it. I know it's low key, but you know, it's fun. Also, just so you guys know, I'm not over here fucking tweaking. My glasses keep falling down and have to like push them up in between strumming. So, if I seem like I'm glitching, I'm fine. I promise. You're so trying to really you. <laughs> withdrawals? No. <laughs> okay, this song's called Try. And let's pick it up, bitches! <laughs> Together. <laughs> we take a selfie, okay? 
You know what's crazy now? I literally made a fucking tweet like two days ago, and I was like, guys, I get really insecure and my hair fucking glows like glow stick. And everyone was like, no, we love it. And I was like, thanks. Wait, Adam, we should start calling her Light Bright. No! Light Bright looking ass. Crazy. Okay, so um, it's time for a story time, if that's okay. I'm going to tell you a little story. So, we were in LA, writing the record, right? And I was like, oh my god, I'm in LA, like slay. And my mom called me that morning. And she was like, hey girl. And I was like, girl, what's wrong? And she was like, yeah, our dog died. I know, it's, but like honestly, she was like really fucking old, okay? I'm pretty sure she was like half blind and whatever, but like I got her when I was in fourth grade and I'm 22, so like she stuck around for a little bit, you know? So it wasn't that sad, but it was still fucked up, you know? And so basically, by the way, I believe she was a lesbian. And I'm- One of us. I lost one of us. I'm not just saying that to be quirky. I literally like, whenever I have a dude over, I'd be like, where's my dog? Like, where'd she go? Well, my girlfriends came over, she'd be humping their legs. So I'm pretty sure she was gay, okay? I get it. And so that kind of inspired the song we wrote that day. This is called A Few Tomorrows. And if you've lost someone or something, I know it sucks, but we get it too, you know? So I hope you enjoy this.
She's messed yeah. up. Her name is Cassie. Oh, I know. She's she little, was a baddie. She's Oops, a little cute. <laughs> okay, guys. Sadly, we have one more song. Yeah. But it's okay, okay? Because we're always touring, like, so much. And, um, yeah, but I'd like to take a second to thank our openers because I think we're the best openers ever on the stage. So please give it up for Daisy Grenade! First time we're seeing our fans, like actually, you know, and I just love how like awesome and diverse it is, and it's truly a safe space. Because when I was going to shows, I was like, oh, you know. But I love that like everyone's here because I love everybody, and you guys are just awesome. So thank you. And one thing I've learned, y'all are really cute, and. And very stylish. And y'all can hold a note per real. I was like, guys, what if they're like singing but they're all fucking toned up? <laughs> I you would put that pop, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Has anybody heard our song called Cool? Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Because you need to help us with the chorus, alright? I'm going to teach you to so repeat after me. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. That was pretty weak, so do it again. And <laughs> make it a little better, okay? Yeah, you are! Yeah, you are! Period. You got one more time to try, right? It's not what you can. Yeah, you are! Yeah, you So bob your heads like this and vibe. Ah, uh, babe, you love the way you look when you look in the mirror and don't you? Cause me too. Ah, uh, babe, you got the whole world at the tip of your fingers and don't you?
back on my body camera. If you insist. documentary one day. We're in the past right now. We're in the past. By the way, this is our um, VIP coordinator's little thingy. And it's like so slay. It's like fetch. I love it. So fetch. Okay, we're back. And um, I lied to you, sorry, but... You guys should have seen it. She was like, we have one more song. And she turned around to me and she was like, I lied to them. I was like, yeah, you did. Favorite. How dare you. I know. But I really can't say it enough. Um, this is truly a dream for us. And the fact that you guys are all here is really weird. <laughs> but we love you and I love seeing your faces because you're all awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys. All right, this is our last song. Because that's all of you, it's called Garden. <laughs>